Go for it. Drew, here you go. One more time. Nice. As down here at Marona's Boxing Gym, Magic Show before the show starts. All right, knockout fans, we're here with Rick Marona from uh, Team Marona's Boxing. Rick, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm so, surviving. What have you been up to since last time we talked to you? Nah, just chilling, man. Just here at the gym. I mean, it's pretty much my lifestyle is gym and watching all my kids and you know getting these guys ready for fights. I have the same routine, pretty much. Now, you got a fight coming up uh, Friday night in Laredo, Texas, Benjamin Whitaker. Um, tell me, uh, how is Benjamin looking for that fight? Uh, he's good. Benjamin's, you know, um, he's already never had any issues going into a fight with Benjamin. Uh, the weight's good. He trains hard. Uh, it's just a matter of going down there and you know, making it pretty convincible and doing what he does best, and, and that's coming out victorious. Okay. Now, um, his last fight it was a big learning experience for him. Tell me a little about what uh, what happened in that fight. Yeah, he uh, you know we, we went up there to uh, Glendale, California. He fought uh, Aegis Cavalasquez, two-time Olympian, also trains at the uh, Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. A uh, very tough guy, man. I mean, I, I pretty much I can honestly say that I've never really seen you know a guy possess so much power like that. You know, from a, from a corner at least, uh, from a trainer perspective. I mean, he was real strong, a lot stronger than I expected. I'm pretty sure a lot stronger than Benjamin expected. Um, but like you said, it was a learning process. Uh, there's no shame in losing to a fighter like that, especially with that much uh, amateur experience. Um, Benjamin only had, a, you know, a handful of amateur fights. He didn't have a big amateur pedigree, uh, but he went in there and there was he showed a lot of t um, there was a lot of moments in that fight that he showed that he could keep up with fighters like that. That he belongs in the same class with them. Um, you know, he got caught with a good sh few shots. You know, he got dropped twice. Um, I know they have, like I said, they have a boxer like it's a KO. He actually got up. He stopped the fight. Um, but that's, that's pretty much the best you can get out of it. it was a learning experience. Um, he knows what it is to get off the canvas. He knows what it is to get hurt. Um, like 99.9% .9 of most fighters do. You know, they've all been in that situation. Um, it was his first time in it, and he, I thought he dealt with it. Um, he's come back. Came back in the gym the next week. You know, wasn't there feeling sorry for himself. You know, so, you know, like they say, there's always that test how a fighter bounces back. And that's what he looks to do this Friday night. Um, God willing, you know, he, we, we come up victorious and we win. And what, uh, what did you work on after that last fight to get ready for this fight? You know, Benjamin's, real, Benjamin's a real technical fighter. Um, you know, he's one, he's one of the fighters that, you know, he, he, he can do both. He can fight, he can fight inside. Uh, he, that's why they gave him the name the Black Sican. You know, it wasn't something we came up with. It was something people, you know, kind of threw it out there a few times, more than once. So, you know, it was something that stuck with him. Uh, he can fight inside, you know, he can box, he can bang, he can pretty much... He's a chameleon in the ring, you know, he can do a lot of little things, but um, what we worked on mainly was just being a lot more aggressive, um, being more, not so much just counting with a shot, but throwing combinations, because uh, we definitely want to go down there and get the win, we definitely want to make it convincing. You know, it's tough going to people's backyard and, and getting that W, you know, I've been in situations as a trainer where we've gone up to the game plan, worked perfect, everything was well, and we still came up short end of the stick, but, you know, we've been more aggressive, he's been more aggressive in the sparring, Doing a lot more body work, doing a lot more punches, and that's pretty much it. You know, Benjamin's all real good at keeping his hands up, doing the basic, being real technical. He's always been good at that. So, just being more aggressive, man. Being more aggressive, and you know, not looking for one shot to land, but com making combinations land, and letting the judges see that you know he he's special. He can really fight. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing how uh, well he's trained for this fight, do you see it going the distance, or what's your prediction for this? You know, uh, I'm predicting a win. You know, that, that's pretty much. You know, I'm not gonna. Can't Freddie Roach it yet and call knockouts, you know, so, but, you know, just the win. You know, if it comes, it comes. Um, I do have a, a, ve a very good feeling. Uh, I feel real confident in the fact that when he throws a punch in this fight, he's going to throw it with, some, with a chip on his shoulder, with a, little more, with a little more anger, you know. So, you know, he, he's very strong, and like I tell him, he doesn't know how strong he is. So hopefully this fight, you know, he, he'll, he'll open up a little bit more. And, and, and hey, the knockout comes, it comes. But at the end of the day, just putting that belt around his waist, Coming back home, that's that's the ultimate goal. Okay, great, great. Now uh, switching gears a little bit, um, current events in boxing. Uh, we we're just talking about a lot of uh, fights got announced today. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, still brewing. Uh, main one is the uh, Mayweather Pacquiao. You got any insight into that? Do you think that's going to materialize after Manny agreed to all the terms from Floyd? Well, I mean, if 
it, it, that's a tough one to call just because we don't know. You know, no matter how close you are, you could be Floyd Mayweather's brother. You hear uh, Jeff Mayweather sometimes saying, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, it's Floyd's Floyd. And, you know, we hope, though. You know, we hope it gets done. And, and my understanding is Manny kind of agreed to everything. And, um, you know, I think Floyd's in a position. Now, there's a lot of times that we didn't know why this fight wasn't happening. But it's been pretty much legit out, straight out, that Manny is willing to do everything. So if Floyd doesn't sign the contract, then I guess we know kind of where the fight wasn't wanting to be happening from. But, you know, hopefully he signs it, man. Hopefully he signs it. And like I said, um, it, it happens. So that's a great fight. I don't care how, you know, it, it, they're at the same level, if you ask me. You know, Manny's a little older. Floyd's a little older. You know, Floyd's two years older, actually. So, I mean, it, it's one of the fights that it's, to me, it's just an exciting fight no matter what to watch. Um, so, you know, as a boxing fan, I'm excited about that fight. Okay. Now, some of the other fights that we talked about, Keith Thurman versus Robert Guerrero, Adrian Broner versus John Molina, and Danny Garcia versus Lamont Peterson coming up soon, not to mention the fights this weekend, uh, uh, Dante Wilder versus Stevens, and then uh, following weekend, I believe, Brandon Rios versus... Uh, Yes, which, which one of those fights are you looking forward to the most? All those fights, you know. Uh, boxing was good to us in 2014. Um, to start off 2015 with a bang like that, it's incredible. And it just gives a lot of show what the, what the promoters are doing now in the boxing business. Um, so, yeah, all of them are exciting, man. I, I'm very interested in that Keith Thurman and Robert Guerrero fight. You know, I, um, not, I'm not a big Keith Thurman fan in general. I'm not a big one-person boxing fan. I just love the sport in general. Um, but... You know, he's been taking a lot of criticism for how he looked in the last fight, you know, and you, you fight a guy the way he fought, you know, it's very difficult, man. Those guys, sometimes they don't need a second guy like Mauricio Herrera, you know, the way he, what he did to Danny Garcia in that fight, you know. There's some guys that just have them awkward style that give you a lot of problems, and, you know, his opponent that night was one of them fighters, you know. So, you know, Keith Thurman has looked good in all his fights, except pretty much this one wasn't, you know, what fans wanted. But, you know, it, I mean, but then again, you go preaching about knockouts, you, you know, the fans are expecting a knockout. But, you know, I'm interested in that fight because Robert Goodell is a real tough fighter. Um, you know, he's very limited at times, but he lets his hands go and he's willing to trade. So, you know, it's going to be a good fight. It's a very interesting fight. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Now, we also talked about uh, you're getting a b bigger following yourself. How can people reach you? that want to get a, get in touch with you or come see your gym and whatnot? Uh, we're here in San Antonio, Texas, man. We're on this boxing. I uh, just 2108 Quintana Road. Um, find us on Facebook at Morones Boxing. Um, my Instagram is at Rick Morones. Um, you know, that's pretty much the, the best ways to reach me. But, uh, you know, we're here, 21 on Quintana Road, just a, a young gym coming up. A lot of passion, a lot of grit, a lot of hunger. You know, and we're, we're kind of, I, I, re, I rephrase that, a lot of starvation on this end. You know, we're, we're starving to try to get out there and, and show the world what we can do. So, you know, we're, every, people are always welcome to come check it out. All right, great. Well, best of luck to y'all this uh, weekend in Laredo. And I'll be back to take a look at that belt. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Right. And we'd like to thank our sponsors as well. Um, Macadocious Clothing from Laredo, Texas. Uh, they helped us uh, for this fight this Friday. So once again, shout out to Macadocious Clothing. Uh, we'd like to thank um, Andres Reyes and Mario Castillo, uh, the offices of the attorneys in Laredo, Texas as well. They were our main sponsors. They helped us. So uh, just shout out to them and shout out to uh, Secure Towing. Out on WW White Road, one of our other sponsors. So, uh, special thanks to M3 guys for making this possible and for helping us, giving us that extra push in this event. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Maybe he should.